Yes. And, now, so, and so now we're in six. Listen, Amen. before we even go to six, we've had uh, uh, a comment in the comment sections. Someone, I think, that has never come in before. Uh, and this individual posted the question, what must I do to be saved? My God, that, oof. <laughs> So uh, we want to address that question. I just typed in a uh, wonderful question, most important question in the world. And now I'm going to turn the mic over. Amen. That was all on me today. And thank you, woman, a uh, man of God, for even uh, posting that question. And it, it is so important because we, uh, the first four books of Acts, it tells us what to do how much we need this right here. But as you read in Acts 2.38, it tells you first that Peter said in Acts 2.38. Wait, say it, hold on, wait, answer. give a, a, you know, a person, <laughs> give a person time to ch uh, find it. Acts is behind John. That's in the New Testament. You know, um, anybody else can help. And so you so say Acts the second chapter. Yes. The thirty-eighth verse. The thirty-eighth verse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. I'm typing it in. Yes, indeed. Okay, and um, now we, we you know we received uh, as the person asking, you know, uh, and as Sister Stephanie was saying, this is the most important question. In the world, really, this is life right here. Because if we talk about in Acts, because it's the new church, and God not going to let His church be with the stop. And that's how it was before. So He had to do a lot of things to mess it up, to to unscrabble it, to confuse people. Because you know what He said, "I am the way. There we I go. am the truth. I am the light." Mm -hmm. And He said that no man can come unto the Father but by Me. And we can find that in John 14 and 6, I believe. You know, God is okay. saying, let, not, don't, don't, let, don't be troubled. I'm going to show you and I'm going to I'm going to uh, ordain. I'm going to put in people wants to tell you what, what must I do mm -hmm. to be saved. And in Acts 2.38, Peter said that Peter was the, um, the, the, the senior pastor. Mm-hmm. Peter said, uh, repent. He said, repent. We got to start it off with a repentance. He said, and be baptized. Now we got to define, we're going to stop a minute and define repent. Because that's not a word oh. that is used too often today. Uh, and in, in very, very uh, quickly, I'm going to say it means to be fo sorry for what you did are doing and be resolved to stop it. Right, now, exactly. you gonna need help with some things and that help is gonna come from the Holy Spirit. But in, in, in your minds, in your mindset, you gotta be sorry for what you have done that you know is not right. Amen. And Amen. It, to repent means to uh, you're not gonna turn back to that that you know is wrong. Now you're gonna need help, but the first part is to you know be regretful of what you have done that's wrong. Uh, Elder, I'm sorry. I'm gonna uh, pass the mic to you. Well, you put it nice. So repent is to turn from your wicked ways. Just turn around and stop doing what you're doing. If you steal, steal no more. If you lie, lie no more. Mm -hmm. cheat, cheat no more. Repent is to change your views and purpose to accept the will of God in your inner self instead of rejecting it. Amen. To repent means to turn from the way that I'm living to turn to the way that God wanted to design me to live for in the beginning. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, 
that therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things have passed away. Behold, all the things become new. To repent means to be a new person, a different person. To change and do a 180 and go instead of the direction that you're going in, turn around and go in the outer direction. In order to say that I want to be saved or I want to repent means I'm doing something wrong and we have to change. All we have to do is accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, believe that he he was uh he was uh born of a virgin and that he uh walked this earth and that he performed miracles and that he is the Messiah. And that he hung, bled, and died on the cross. And that he rose three days later. And that he seated at the right of the Father. If you believe those things. And like Minister God has, has instilled in us throughout this study. About being baptized. Get baptized. Which is an outward showing. Of the mm -hmm. public showing to the world. That I have done away with my old life. By going down. And I come up into a new life. Amen. And then the hardest part. The hardest part about salvation, oh, that's easy because those are the emotions that you go through. But the hardest part about salvation is living it. It's living the life of salvation, not doing the thing. Paul said in Romans, uh, the seventh chapter. Wait. That the, the <laughs> I, I was just typing in your sec. I'm sorry, Elder. Your second Corinthians. Corinthians. What? Five and seventeen. Oh, uh, five and then seventeen, or five through seventeen. It's chapter five, verse seventeen. Oh, five. All right. Very Amen. good. Uh, uh, now you can continue with the next one. Okay, and oh, um, I'm sorry, Elder. He he was. Oh, go ahead. I'm good. Uh, no, okay. you had another scripture. That was that was in Romans where uh, 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 Paul Paul said that uh, the things that I I, I I do I don't want to do, but I can't stop myself from doing it. For in verse nineteen, he say Romans chapter seven and verse nineteen. All right. He says, "For the good that I would, I do not." But the evil which I would not, that I do. That's the struggle fight. I call it, we call it the spirit man and the flesh man. The spirit man and the flesh man are at war with one another. The spirit man wants to do right. The uh, the, uh, the flesh man wants to do wrong. Whichever one we uh, uh, give more attention to. I'm not going to say feed. I'm going to say give more attention to is the one that's going to dominate. So... Living a life of salvation is the thing that we need to focus on more. I Being would say, uh, excuse me, I'm stepping all over people tonight. But when you finish your thought, I would like to uh, go back and read that in a uh, in a in the New Living Translation. But continue. Go ahead. I'm finished. Read it. Well, I, okay. Uh, and that thirty-eight. Um, when it says, then Peter said unto them, repent. Now, you know, repent and all everything that uh, Elder and sister, it, was, it was just so beautiful, all in repentance. But, you know, we got to have a godly song. You know, I can tell you I'm sorry about something, and then I can, I can be sorry that I got caught. But when you have the godly song, you may, you know, you got to find out where you just, as we can sometimes, tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're sick and tired of uh, you know of uh, messing up and you're getting caught and messing up getting caught. So we have that godly song where you just don't know what nothing else to do. That's, and that is what God is. That's what Peter is talking about. That God needs with this thing because all that you know the newness of life, like God was saying, we need help, and the help is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the helper. Yes. We can't do these things. We can't. We can't even repent on our own. We can't even repent on our own. And we got and be baptized every one of you. See, you know what? It's an outward showing as well, but we all need to do this. If Jesus, if John the Baptist baptized Jesus, then who are we not to want to get baptized? 
It doesn't matter what we say or what we do. If Jesus, you know, and John the Baptist didn't want to baptize Jesus, but Jesus said to John the Baptist, let it be so, you know, he said to fulfill the scripture, you, but he been baptized and you will find out baptism is all through Acts, all through the new covenant. If you're being baptized with water, some form of water, whether it's, you know, well, that's, we're getting kind of deep, but <laughs> we get your point. And I, I want to interrupt right quick before they, uh, the, the King James version has uh, uh, slipped our minds, our mind anyway, and do that Romans, the seventh chapter and the 19th verse. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Uh, and the, uh, um, and you say that's Peter talking? Yeah, Peter's Paul. talking. That's Paul. Oh. Right. Paul, there we go. That's Paul. He said, I want to do what is good. This is how the uh, New uh, New Living Translation says it. Sister Stephanie, <laughs> could you do me a favor, Sister Stephanie? Yes. Could you go back and you start at verse 15? Oh, sure. Could you start at verse 15? Uh-huh. I don't really understand myself, for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate, 16, but if I know that, that what I am doing is wrong, this shows that I agree that the law is good, 17. So. I am not the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. 18, and I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature. I want to do what is right, but I can't. 19, I want to do what is good, but I don't. I don't want to do what is wrong, but I do it always. You want me to go on to 20? 20, yeah, read 20. But if I do what I don't want to do, I am not really the one doing wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. You want me to go on to 21? 21, I have discovered this principle of life that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably do what is wrong. And 22, or uh, stop there. Uh, that's good, 21 was good. All right. And so as we look at this, and we're so, uh, questioner, we're so happy for this question. We understand from Paul's writing that, you know, we're not doing wrong, just, you, just dry long so. We realize that uh, it's wrong living in us and we want to get rid of it. it that uh, to repent is, a, you know, to not want to be like that, not want to do those things, Amen. not want to be in that situation. You Amen. know, you want to be better. You want to be what God intended for you to be, what he created you to be, to reach the heights that he wants for you. And so... Amen. We seek salvation and it begins with us, you know, being humble and saying, Lord, I'm sorry and meaning it. And then we go to the place after you done emptied yourself out. If you want to name some of the stuff that you done just done in 2020 to him, then you begin to purge yourself. You know, when you hear 
that people say that uh, uh, from the scriptures that our best is just like filthy rags. It ain't nothing. You know, we just are in a bad state of affairs. You know, um, so once we've done that, then what we need to do next is to acknowledge that God is God above all. Know and believe within yourself that he loved us so that he sent Jesus to bear our sins. Because we just such a mess. And I, I know modern man does not like for you to say that because they think they're the best of the best. We the, we the on top. We are messed up. We so messed up that we messing up the world. But we have salvation. We believe beyond any shadow of a doubt that Jesus came for us in the flesh, 100% God, 100% man. He walked on this earth doing good. He ransomed us. He paid the price for what we have done. He died on a rugged cross and rose again, showing us his whole life showed us how to live. And then he gave it up, uh, gave up everything. And then he rose again after being slaughtered, a terrible death by the enemy of his people. And there he was. His oh, that was, best he was killed by his own people. Some wouldn't even admit that they knew him. But he did it. He did it. And he rose from the grave. All power in his hands. That's what, if you believe that, you got it made. Yes, ma'am. That's what you do to be saved. See, now that's excellent right there. That's good you stuff. You repent. You believe. Now they might, um, the e evangelists. You know, you know, I was going to say, well, I, am go I am going to say that the way that Jesus allowed to be in this Bible is the way that this chronological order that he had, if we don't understand who's speaking, who's talking, if we don't understand that, I don't care who they are, who we are. The question was asked, the question was asked, what can I do, what must I do to be saved? Yes. What Peter is saying to not only the, the ones that are there, you see, okay, we, we were in five and six, so that was back there. And then when they do this right here, they're going to get what they need to go to the next step, to go to four, to go to five, to go to six. You cannot skip what the Lord allowed to be in the book. What? He said, repent yeah. and be baptized, every one of you. He tell us how to do it. Not in titles, but we need a name. 
if we don't understand the scripture, see, nothing is getting done. Nothing is being done in the earth realm. No demons are being cast out. These people are not born again. But this is a question. Yeah. What must uh, I... That, this is a very personal question. Yes, it is. What? It is, and this needs to be done to get the power. You don't get the power from on high from just speaking it or just knowing the Bible. 